okay now I will intro introduce you guys to the lot animations uh, these animations are from the Airbnb uh, uh, what it does is it actually it, what it does basically it actually uh, change uh, re uh, Adobe After Effects animation into the JSON and then we can add these JSON into our projects so basically it will uh, help us to integrate the Adobe After Effects animation into our uh, react native projects or or in other platforms right so with the help of these animations uh, we can make our app to next level right so it has basically a lots of animations uh, this animation is provided by the uh, airbnb okay uh, that's the official uh, website for this uh, here you will find lots of animations here and uh, we have lots of free animations we can download this uh, what it does it provides us json file and then we can integrate uh, with the help of uh, air lot of animations into our project right so let's add it into our react native uh, chat application uh, okay so go to the terminal here and then we will uh, go to the documentation part of the lot animations uh, it is provided by the react native community so let's install it so first we will add npm install dash dash safe lot a react native then let's add it here into our project directory it will take some time so let's hold for a few minutes I was just playing with it and I found it very useful so I thought I should share with you guys as well so we have added it now let's add it for the iOS let's copy it and paste it here and you know, I save that's that safe lotte iOS 3.1.3 3. now this is the complete documentation here you can uh, go through it and you can get help here this is a complete uh, usage document as well as as you can see here we have lots of animations uh, like if you are working uh, with some e-commerce website you can you can add this animation as well so it will it will it will increase your UX of the app more so if you have someone or you know how to do animations in the Adobe After Effects, uh, you can then, you know, you, you can then add it here as well. So, it can be very useful. So, we have added here. And then, I was just, uh, just surfing, so I found uh, this animation. So, I thought uh, we can add into our... Uh, what we can say into our splash screen so let's download this uh, whenever whenever you go to this animation uh, this, this Lotte animations uh, website you will see here lots of files just click on it then you will be navigated to uh, this page so I just search and just find this one so we have to download this so download uh, Lotte JSON while it's getting uh, getting downloaded now we need to do one more thing so cd ios uh, go to the ios directory then pod install so it will install the lot animation spot for ios so we are done with the installation part for the lot animations let's uh, build the project here so command is npx react native run ios it will take some time so let's wait
okay so we got some error here okay uh, yesterday when I build uh, after installing it uh, it get built successfully and I didn't got any error but today I am getting some error so uh, there might be chances chances that you you also not get some error right so if you don't get uh, any error so you are good to go and else if you got some error so to resolve this error what we will do uh, go to the uh, Xcode I mean go to the project directory then navigate to the iOS folder then you will see then you have to open the project directory with the name of uh, chat app okay so when you open the project directory here what you want to do I mean what you have to do uh, go your project name here inside this folder create a new file or maybe inside this wait file add a new file here okay create a sub file then next let's create it it will ask you to create bridging header then you have created so we have created the bridging header uh, what why we are doing this because here we have this app dot delegate uh, which is an objective c file so we have to create swift uh, bridging header so now if i run again uh, my project should build successfully okay so let's wait it will take some time so it should work I guess Uh, let's wait while it's getting built So yes, it's got built successfully. Alright, so you might uh, not get into error, but in case you got some error, you have to create a bridging header with the name of Swift file. Right, you have to create a Swift file with bridging header. So, okay, so we have we are done with the installation part. Okay, so uh, this is the website from where you can get the animations. Alright, so I have find. I have found some animations here so we might look into it so uh, I, w I got this one and or uh, what was it okay I think I lost that one I found another one I will share with you if I get so yes I have downloaded that okay so we have this one uh, right I just like it uh, although it, it doesn't suit with the uh, with our you know the our theme of the chat app so what you have to do uh, when you will when you will get your animation you have to just uh, download it and then download a uh, lot of JSON here then the file will got downloaded in your downloads then you have to rename it and then what you will do uh, you have to just paste it into your assets folder right so I have uh, downloaded some uh, JSON here so then you have to just uh, move it into your inside the 
assets folder okay so now what we will do we will add import okay lotte view from uh, lotte react native okay so then okay what one more thing what we will do we will add another view here and then inside this view we will add uh, this lotte view so uh, it's a lotte view then source okay require then okay assets inside this we have waiting dot json okay then we want this to be an to run in loop so we will add auto play so it will play automatically then loop to true as well so by default it's true so we don't have to set value okay 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 then for now just uh, comment out these so that it won't be navigated to the next screen and now if I run okay we didn't got the just commented out this Okay, okay now we need to add style for this lot of views so create a style here uh, lot of view okay then give it a width of let's say hundred percent so it will take full complete uh, screen width then height i want uh, height to be let's say uh, height 60 percent because uh, the four percent is uh, uh, the four percent screen height right so the logo is taking the four percent of the screen height okay so let's give it uh, I give five percent, so zero point six, zero point six of uh, constants dot uh, screen height. Okay, so let's add uh, the style to the view of the lotte view. So style equals styles dot lotte view now save it and if i run you will see we got this lotte view animation right okay so above this i want to show the logo so here just and comment it out and copy this and paste it here save this file and if i run you will see we got uh, the logo right so the spacing it's too much so are we giving anything no that's because of uh, the lot of views uh, this uh, waiting JSON have some space above this line so that's why it's showing up I think it's good uh, the people two people are working and they are chatting so although it doesn't match with our chat app but I think it will looks good it looks good right so that's how you basically uh, add animations to your apps ok now let's play with this uh, auto layout so just comment this code ok then 
it should one one point it will run to the one point five seconds. Okay, so if I run again okay so the second doesn't the second uh, chat icon doesn't showed up so I think it, we should run it for two seconds I guess let's check this out if I run this okay, or maybe two second 2.5 second I guess. Okay, so I know it's too much. It uh, the splash should not run more than no. I think uh, yeah, it's four seconds, right? Okay, if I rerun, so let's check out. Got lower here than the people are chatting. I know it's too much, so we might uh, you can use uh, another what you want or you can play with it right so uh, that's the splash here one more thing I got uh, one suggestion that uh, I should add my simulator along with my screen so that I don't have to switch the view so I think it's a good suggestion so let's implement that as well as you can see we got uh, we can work and change the thing right simultaneously to sad.author at gmail.com okay if I join now so we have some uh, the groups right now let's add uh, if I go to the group screen here let's say if we don't have any uh, if the users did not join the chat here so we will show uh, this I called it join right so this animation will be shown here if the user hasn't uh, if the user did not join in chat so let's implement that as well 